Hello, this is Bhargav Anguli here and I have created one uh, face recognition project. It is made on Python and uh, although uh, the total credit doesn't go to uh, only myself, uh, actually I have seen uh, several videos in YouTube and uh, especially two videos from them have influenced me and um, from those two videos I have taken the concept and uh, tried to build this um, project. So let me show you the project. I am recording my screen as you can see the, it was a desktop and here uh, it is one attendance.py named file. It is a python file. We all know that the extension is .py and here you can uh, see the code is written. The code is about uh, 85 uh, lines code here it is present and um, this is actually a project here uh, the face of any person will be detected and uh, it will show a particular name actually what happens let me uh, describe you the whole process uh, it is the uh, folder where I have kept my files for this project yes so I have named this face recognition attendance so this is basically an attendance system and where I have kept attendance.csv so I am opening this file attendance.csv and uh, because this is a csv file you all know comma separated value file so here um, actually the attendance of each and every person will be recorded uh, using the python uh, libraries and packages uh, by the help of our code which i have applied in attendance.py file and that will be recorded here uh, and when it will be recorded now uh, at that time when the face will be detected so the time will be present here so it is a recent time uh, when I have just tested but now I will run the code again okay and we'll show you so this is a uh, file yeah so I'm closing the attendance.csv file and here um, I have written uh, some text uh, how to run because it is uh, it needs some dependencies like uh, some modules and clib and sorry not clib uh, it requires dlib right yeah dlib and uh, some other things also and uh, opencv this is a package of python uh, which help us to use the camera the integrated camera of our uh, laptop or, or desktop you, you know what your machine is so um, there you can find that uh, how to activate one shot i have created one virtual environment that is named as one shot and i have uh, done all the things uh, the required things uh, to run the project so here let me show you the code again yeah so let me run this code first okay at the time when it is running so it will take um, a few uh, seconds uh, maybe of 40 to 50 seconds to run the code and it is running yeah yeah it is running so and that time let me show you one th another thing so there is an images file under the images file i have uh, given my family members um, picture and one uh, picture of um, president obama uh, president of usa uh, former president of usa and uh, present president of usa biden joe biden so <clears throat> these are the um, pictures i have uh, downloaded and uh, kept in this file and actually uh, my this project will try to detect these faces only okay so it will not detect any other uh, body who, whose picture is not given in under this folder okay so uh, this is the main uh, motto or the main working uh, principle of our project so here you can see the project is still now running as i said that it may take about 40 to 50 seconds it may be uh, one and one minute and 10 seconds also so it depends on my machine and my capability of my machine and so uh, it will basically uh, open one another window which is a camera window where you can see my face when it will open and my live cam right so it is opening yeah so as of now you can see that um, my project is running so uh, when it completes all the encodings so in the console actually i am using spider and this is the format of spider and you can see here all encodings complete will be written will be the uh, command to yourself and you can find that it 
has opened my live cam and actually uh, this is my live cam and you can see here that it is detecting my face and my name is uh, present here that Bhargav is my name so it is uh, showing my name and actually uh, this is the live cam and to make you believe I am just uh, yeah so uh, I am just moving my face and you can uh, see that it is detecting my face all the time so but it, what happens if I don't uh, be in front of the camera so it will not detect anything so it is okay right so and now I am coming in front of the camera again and again it is detecting my face okay so this is one part of our project and uh, this part is still uh, simple and you can find many uh, youtube videos and other sources also but uh, this is uh, the detection of my face okay and uh, as it detects my face it is showing my name here but you can uh, find that uh, the time uh, now is 17 and 14 so it is 5 14 here it is afternoon here so 17 14 and i am just closing this um, this um, console this particular uh, window uh, not the console this particular window and by apply, like hitting the key uh, q so it will close my window because the code is written here that when it will um, get the entry q it will close the open cv that is the um, it will close my camera so here the main thing is the second part of our project that uh, it was 17 14 or 15 it may be it may be last for 15 also so when i will open attendance.cv is uh, attendance.csv file here you can find that my attendance will be recorded has been recorded uh, on that particular time and let it be open and here uh, my csv file has been opened and you can uh, see that uh, it is showing my name and then uh, the time when my face has been detected so it was uh, 1714 i said as that it, it was 1714 almost 1714 so uh, that's why it is 1714 44 so 44 is the second so no problem so uh, it is afternoon 514 and 6 8 2022 it is the today's date and you can find here that uh, our project simply learns uh, runs and actually this project is not simple but um, if you want to understand each and every code then it may be uh, harder and it's not uh, totally simple because I this project needs many dependencies that i said in the beginning that it needs a uh, delib in need it needs cmake this type of things it needs so uh, cmake is uh, something which you need to install when you want to run this project in your windows uh, but not for linux and other things and uh, but if you follow uh, my codes and uh, the require uh, the um, my that file the uh, how to run txt then you can uh, get uh, that how we should um, do the project and how we should uh, get our desired output so that's it uh, i am a little bit beginner in this uh, type of project so uh, i have just shared my beginner's knowledge i have not um, i may not be appropriate i may not be uh, i may not be well <laughs> to describe my project but i just tried uh, to show uh, to all my viewers uh, that you can do uh, and i have taken uh, about uh, four days to complete this project because um, I need to um, go for um, go through many uh, videos uh, in YouTube and many other articles in um, Google's also so thanks for being with us and um, this is my uh, project overall